Alright guys, so what's up, I'm finally back up today. Got a really, 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 really quick document video I want to do. Sorry if I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. It is hot where I am massively, but I'm going to try to still get this video out as best as I can though. We got a new category. We got a data download for JP. Of course, lots of new stuff. Lots of new goodness. But yeah, we should get a celebration info around a few more hours by the time I upload this. Hopefully, it'll be out and ready. Um, so I'm getting a little bit later than I thought. I just I didn't expect like to be up so like Because I, I did wake up around it was a good time, but just... I had a lot of things to do on my plate this morning, and yes, it's freaking hot. I got a towel on standby. Okay. Ugh. I don't care, but look ridiculous. It is hot as heck where I am now. So, yeah, lighting and stuff like that, of course, gonna be a little bit brighter. Can't help that. I don't care. So, yeah, we got a new rap rapid growth category. Kepler's gonna bring this category, of course, to JP. Looks nice, looks great, has a lot of promise. This is a pretty you I wanna put on here. Like, you can see Dragon Ball Super Broly right here, right? On the AGL. The physical one should be on here, and just me Goku should be on here because we have Super Saiyan Goku because they're supposed to be like Gohan and Goku together. Um, because you know, they're on the Pure Saiyan slash you know, Hyper Saiyan stuff like that because they did actually change those categories. Um, I want to mention something as well. Just me Goku should be on here because Just Vegeta is, and Dragon Ball Super Bro, the physical one should be on here, and Truck should also be on here too because they not grow, they not learn what the Gallic Gun and Final Flash from like what Go Vegeta did, did he not teach them, they not grow, like did his Super Saiyan. Like, you know, messed up blue form does not count. I just kind of wanted to mention that a little bit. In my opinion, though, we should have seen Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. She should be on this category. Just a few exceptions. Because at base form, Goku and Vegeta are on here as well, too. And, of course, Kid Goku, which is great. We can see a new him. A new armored Gohan, we can see that. Gohan, of course, all the Kid Gohans are on here. When we ever, ever get a great Kid Gohan, if we, get, like, if we get, like, a new Kaba, he can be on here. Of course, Keflas, Kales, Kaleeflas. We can definitely see more versions of those. Especially because we're getting the easy versions of those. If that Super Saiyan 2 um, Kaleefla and Berserker Kale, because um they actually did come out around, I want to say. No, I have a better version of this up here. So, yeah, JP Get it, uh, we should we're gonna see those guys get easy get easy ace. I feel like it's gonna be easy areas in my opinion though. Um despite I don't know speculation and stuff. But no speculation, just I feel like they're gonna be easy areas, in my opinion though. But yeah, we got lots of new units. We got a new Frieza Awakening and of, slash easy A and of course if it was a should just awaken them then like you know give me easy A maybe like a week later. Ha <laughs> no because JP, everybody hates that. But it's not global because, you know, those Super Saiyan 2 Gokus came out. So yeah, we got lots of new news for the day. I download, of course, should, Kefla should be around, what, 16, 15, 14 more hours by the time I upload this. I get those super simple stuff. She really is a crazy unit. Everybody in the moms are going crazy on the private server. This is why she's STR because they didn't really need it. Plus, this kill just got awakening as well. She, They didn't, I mean, again, though, they didn't really, in my opinion, need it. But, I mean, they're more. They're going to be more OP than they already were before, so... Falling in the kind of like little mini category thing, but that's um, again, though, kind of cool and everything like that. That's why I like it. I thought it was in the structure and stuff like that, of course. It's always going to be and stuff like that, so um, yeah, I'm not know why it's not even loading up for me, but um, yeah, we got lots of new users. Vados, Vados is coming with the um, Kalen Kalifo, of course, on their banner. That means they you know they're not going to be featured, even though it would be kind of cool though, see, but I, you know, only Doug Fitchens are going to be featured on the banner. Besides these guys, I feel like they're definitely going to be featured on the banner because why would you put there if you, if you put there if they're, they're going to awaken, why not put them on the banner at the same time? But at the same time, they always do Doug Confess units. I definitely feel like the old UI Goku is going to be on here. I want to say Doug Confess Piccolo might be on here. Frieza, Angel Gold and Frieza could be on here. 17 could, because they're going to determine the power. They didn't for like the last few Dark Confess. They did for Jiren, even though Jiren's not Dark Confess Jr. UI Goku, I think. I mean, you, the, UI Goku, when he got his awakening, Jiren was on the banner. 17 was on the banner. Dispo, Topo, they're all probably going to be on the banner. Evolution Blue Vegeta might come back. I feel like that's how the banner's going to be structured. Yeah, like Evolution Blue Vegeta at 17. Um, probably Topo, Dispo, I don't know. Because again, they didn't like have like, any other units awakening. But here's a more clear, yeah, here's a more clear, um, respite. Rest uh, presentation because I was trying to say rest presentation. I can't even say it. A good presentation of the category, a little more crystal clear and stuff like that. Um, from my center. So yeah, hits could be on here. We're definitely gonna get in getting our hit. Especially this guy, if he gets awakening, especially from the world tournament, he's gonna be an insane unit. This hit's good. This hit is good. I love this hit because you know he's the type of unit that you know there's like 500 things like you know attack, lowering, ceiling, stunning, all that stuff. But the problem is he has no defense. That's the problem. This hit, they, should, they really should have easy hit him in this celebration. They could have properly changed him, in my opinion. He could have been like with the STR hit and the tech hit combined. This one's just more of a free play unit. So I mean, of course, I mean he's okay though. I've seen a lot of people use him. He's pretty okay. Again, though, we could see like you know Super Saiyan, Kale, and Kalifla because we don't have them yet, um, at all. I know a lot of people that um when these um the World Tournament Kale and I want to say this Kalifla came out, everybody thought the STR and. Um, the tech ones got awakenings, but no, they're just completely different. So yeah, we have 500 base forms. We don't really need any. We have good base forms for them. They do not need any more base forms. Now we just need like a Super Saiyan and the Super. No, we just need Super Saiyan versions. We already have Super Saiyan twos, and they're technically like Super Tech. It's vulnerable. I have seen it. So yeah, there you go. Kefla, of course, being the new Goku Professor version of her. We get a new Kaba. Um, Gohan. I'm glad he's on this category though. 
Um, but yeah, Trophy from Goku and Vegeta should be on here. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball and Vegeta, Goku should be on here. The other Dragon Ball Super Broly should be on here. If I said the Ant one, is he not on here? It's weird. He should be on here, but I, I think they're calling the practical form, like his anger form, you know, potential to grow stuff like that. But again, those categories could be a lot better. It could have been way better than what before. We can't use like a new transforming trunks, like a, like from like this form, you know, base form to like oh wait, Super Saiyan, then like actors, actors gonna go buff. Then after what, a few turns, maybe he'll stop transforming or whatever. That film didn't really last that long. He probably would have. He should have over enough flash because this film didn't last that long. But at the same time, it was more sustainable-ish. But I mean, he was losing power as he fought. It's like full power freezer. It's a full power freezer thing. The planet blows up in five minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, even though it took like what, like four or five episodes. I don't. Know, I can't remember. It's been too long since I watched Freezer Hark. But um, yeah, that we should. Um, again, though, I don't know. Just throwing the suggestions out there. We're gonna definitely get a LR Ultimate Gohan when he comes out. I'm gonna freak out because you guys know don't know Gohan's my favorite character. A Dragon Ball point blanking period. That that is like seventeen. I want to say Goku Black number three. Number four would probably be KO. Number five would be um hit. Good luck, kid. So yeah, again, we should see, see all these guys in a few more hours. Plus, again, we have a new asset for Champa right there. No one really did. I don't think no one really talked about this though. But um yeah, this is a new Champa asset from the new story event. Because I mean, not new story event. Because there's um a revamp, not revamp for the Universe Six story event coming back. I did a whole video on that. I'll put it up somewhere here. Um. Which should see um, the stage updates. I probably go to like you know Universe Six being erased and stuff like that. Probably to determine my power at the point where they got erased. Then it's gonna come like right back and stuff like that. Um, yeah, probably. Also, yeah, then that that like them like trying to go Super Saiyan three or whatever. Um, Kale, Kalifa, and Kappa. That could be again. That could be a lot of base from Kappa, Kalifa, and Kale. I thought for part two for this celebration probably. But hey, we're gonna end up seeing UI Goku for JP because you know Kepla, UI Goku. The fight from UI Goku, Kapla, we're definitely gonna see it for part two. I feel like definitely. Or you know, they'll probably bring it. So yeah, this freezer, by the way, is actually getting awakening. He's from the Planet Namek um story event. I mean, um boss fight from this full power freezer event. Um but yeah, it's, it's he was long overdue for awakening. I mean he awake I mean he's, he goes to first form freezer, the final form, that's how it's to protect the easily formable. Um but yeah, he goes to final form, after that he goes, um I don't know, it's just, it's really weird. I don't know why. It's really weird he got a duck because he got duck awakening, now he's doing easy A, which is again it's really weird because they should I feel like they should just awaken him, then give him I don't know, it's weird. Like they awaken him, then they give him an easy A. Kinda of weird. So he does N types keep us two, everything up fifty percent. Spring damage, lowers attack. Um again I mean that's gonna work more in battlefield and stuff like that. I don't think it's gonna determine the power, but no, this is him. I think trying to blow up the planet from Namek. I mean no again um buff yeah, planet Namek because he's not on determine the power. Kinda of weird, but I don't know. I mean, he is from the Nimic soccer file. Because art is him trying to blow up the planet. Um, and him doing the death ball behind, like, Spirit Bomb Goku. That's where that art is from, so. Kind of doesn't make sense. Um, Spirit Damage lowers attack. Attack defense plus, um, 70%. Guarding activate, um, activate against all attacks. Basically, engine but that's insane. Um, when there's a Goku family category ally on the team. Um, a Goku family enemy, which is half of the game. Um, reduces damage by 30% uh, when guards activate it. So, yeah, I mean, Kepla. You like Goku and this Frieza three in a row, blowing guard? I mean, Kepler's event has a lower guard or something like that. Something got the lower guard because they've been putting up all these units. Or something new could be coming, we don't know. So he has Prodigies, Universe Most Malevolent, Shocking Speed, um, Struggles Clan Space, Nightmare, Formidable Enemy, and Fierce Battle. I've never seen Formidable Enemy. I can't remember what that was. Those categories are Planet Nimic Saga, Transformation Boost, which is good. Um, that category doesn't really do any buffs because Kepler just came out with it. We'll get Bloodline, Disposable um, Villains. Terrifying Conquerors and Dragon Ball Seekers, which is good. That team, it, they don't really need buffs, but I mean, that's another good buff. So yeah, we need to, um, go, guess it's easy. He's looking at Bloodline, um, Key 3, stats 77, and Key 3 for int, and stats 150, um, 50%. So he raises attack, uh, causes supreme damage and lower attack. It's actually really good. He's like a mini version of the, um, AGL Golden Freeze that we just got. So he does attack and defense plus 100%, guard against all attacks and allies, key to attack defense plus 20% um, when there is a Goku family category enemy. So basically he's going to be good against Goku family enemies. And he's going to give himself key and stuff like that. That's good. That's how you should make freezes later. Even though they don't really need the key and stuff like that, but I mean, it's still good though. This Zerg effect is going to look really good though. Um, so basically he's just be good against a Goku family enemy. It's going to keep reducing damage and activating this guard a lot. So that's the whole point of him. Links and categories are going to stay the same. So that's cool though. Um, also, it's cool. It's actually an easy A. So it's kind of weird. I mean... At the same time, he did badly. I was thinking, I was like, when are they going to easy at this score? Because he's in the barbershop just waiting and stuff like that. So, good he is. So, I guess they're going to be like easy at area. It feels like it's not going to be a traditional easy at. They never really do it for his units. Oh, he has to, dang, that super attack is good. So, he does um, all types, key two, stats 50, um, raise defense to cause supreme damage and lower defense. So, basically, he's the opposite of free attack. Guarding against, uh, yeah, um, attack plus 100%, attack and defense plus 100%. 
Pack of Fizzle gets all types, basically many versions of Kefla and of course the Frieza that just fused together. Kind of like that, yeah, basically Kefla, the new Kefla and this Frieza right here fused together essentially. Um, all allies keep those two. Attack, um, and attack, and all enemies attack and defense minus 20%. This is a good family category enemy. It launches an additional super, um, additional attack, um, at, that has medium chance of becoming a super attack. So basically, Doki Fest Cooler and that mean to do that. Doki Fest Cooler and I want to say the other fits combined. So it does. Links are Strongest Clan Space, Thrust for Conquest, um, Cold Judgment, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fierce, Nightmare, Fierce Battle. And his categories are movie bosses, rare transformation boosts, look at bloodline, terrifying conquerors, target Goku. So yeah, he's really good though. Loading that um let me see that. So let me see real quick. Yeah, he's gonna raise as a defense. And basically he's gonna be good as that freeze. So basically you wanna run in the same rotation. Um they need all the missions and stuff like that for JP. So yeah, just all really want to go though today. Again though, just a lot of new stuff in the universe six, so we can bottom line easy area. You talking about history stages, we don't know where that's gonna be yet, but again though, we're gonna probably know during like you know, the celebration. So yeah, that's great. I mean, a little bit break break from boss rush and stuff like that. But yeah, again, though, that's all we want to go through today. Again, though, lots of new stuff for um JP. Oh, Resident Evil for seven. Got a great use. Um, so yeah, I know Universe Six equipment is coming as well. Pacific equipment. I will make a separate video on that. Um, of course, celebration info should be a one to say a few more hours. We got lots of new missions, lots of new characters, lots of new ZDAs. Cool is gonna be good. Raising his defense. Only defense, not really. That's good nowadays. But again, attack and attack and get effective against all types and giving yourself key and stuff like that. Basically, you want to run him, hit, run him in freeze on the same rotation. They're roughly the same unit, but yeah. Um, lots of new awakenings, lots of new EDAs for these guys, lots of new stuff coming for JP. You know, Kefla should be around a few more hours. Um, good for um, rapid, rapid growth. They could improve on the future and stuff like that, but I, I, again, a little stuff like that. So yeah, see you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All cool junk. Again, though, um, what do you guys think? Kefla's going to be happy in a few more hours. So yeah, see you guys later, though. Again, though, peace out.